All eyes are his, all mouths are his, all heads are his. If he is not with you, will you see anything? And when you don't see, are the eyes eyes? Eyes are the instruments that see. Similarly, all mouths. It's absurd to say that. The French language is not German language. You know, language trouble. English language. And American says, then what is it? British English we don't want. We want American English. Okay. What is okay? Anything you like. See? This language trouble is not there because every mouth is speaking only because he is there. The bird chirping, the lion roaring, the cat mewing. See? The birds chirping. All these are because they are alive. If they are not alive, how will they communicate in sound? What they want to communicate. So to communicate ideas in sound is called language. Language is expressed by the mouth. All mouths are his. All languages are his. It is immaterial in what language you are talking. Uh, 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 uh. In this world, every pair of ears is hearing because he is presiding over your ears. Not the outer ear and the inner ear. I am a ear, no throat specialist. What can the specialist do? My dead father, make his ears all right so that I may tell him, ask him, where have you kept the will? What can the doctor do? <coughs> Think. What is it that which enlivens all ears? Sarva Rashudiman Loge. Sarva Mahabratya Tishthari. And this great grand reality which presides over the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, etc. He envelops and pervades him. He is everywhere. It is a medium in which all the names and forms are dancing about. Just as the ocean pervades all the waves, every wave is nothing but the oceanic waters in different heights and uh, dimensions. The whole universe is He only. Eleventh chapter, you have already heard. Thus, He the subtractum, the material cause, is being indicated by the world of things and beings in terms of the outer. 